when we're in maneuvering speeds, we use the telegraph here to give engine commands. Uh, this is most commonly used when we're coming in and out of ports. The pilot will give a engine command to the officer of the watch. And the various engine commands are stop, dead slow ahead, slow ahead, half ahead, and full ahead. And then the astern bells are dead slow astern, slow astern, half astern, and full astern. So you move this le lever to whichever the command is. These are roughly the different speeds based on the different bells here, as well as the corresponding RPMs for each bell. Dead slow ahead would give you a speed of about six knots, and the RPM would be 28 RPMs. Slow ahead, eight knots, 35 RPM. Half ahead, 12 knots, 51 RPM. And full ahead, 16 knots and 66 RPM. Most modern ships now have a automated bell logging system. Ours is currently out of commission, so we do it the old fashioned way. We have what's called a bell book where we write down the bells and the symbols we use for each bell are as such. Stop is an X, dead slow ahead is a check with a D, slow ahead is a single check, half ahead is a check with a line through it, and full ahead is a check with two lines. The astern bells are the opposite direction of the check marks. So dead slow astern would be a backwards check with a D, slow astern is a backward check, half astern is a backward check with a line through it, and full astern is a backward check with two lines through it. If we look at our last departure, which was departure Charleston, you can see an example, dead slow ahead, slow ahead, there's a half ahead, there's a full ahead. The bell book also, we write down some other important information such as uh, last line, uh, gear test, main engine tested,